Open the door for him. What are you, nuts? He'll kill us! We must let him in. That is a Jedi, and he will slice through us like butter! Do it. It's your funeral, man. What the f- Jukies and Jukettes, I'm Justin. <laughs> and I'm Nick. And we're Tension 369, yes, jumping into the season finale. finale. Episode 8 of season 2, chapter 16, The Rescue. But before we get into that, Juka, <laughs> what happened last time? So what happened last time was, we went and we did an operation with Bill Burr, right? So Bill Burr, um, when he used to work for the Empire, um, he ended up having access and the know-how of where to get the codes and coordinates of Moff Gideon. So well, he has Imperial codes and stuff. Imperial Protocol. codes. There we go. So yeah, so that's what we ended up doing. We got him, we ended up doing the mission, we brought him to a dock, or what do they call the machine itself? It's a specific machine that transmit the code for them, and that's what they got. And while Bill Burr was there, he ended up hearing some things that might have uh, rubbed him the wrong way, and he might have, uh, so he started blasting. Yeah, so he used to serve under that general. Yeah. And then they mentioned, we didn't even mention this in the Recap because I mentioned it during the reaction, but Operation Cinder is from the story mode of Battlefront 2. Got you. So it's actually pretty cool that they hint to that, and Bill Burr is like, that they just cool that they're making the games canon, like the story events. That yeah, 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 throwing it in now. We did get, like, him, like, he said, I can't go in there, I used to serve under that guy. And you heard him, he said, five, ten thousand people, you killed people I knew. Yeah. Because of Operation Cinder, the Empire killing its own men. And like, he knew, Bill Burr, Mayfield knew he wouldn't be able to hold himself together. And I think that was the scene that made you start to like Mayfield. Oh yeah, that and was actually incredible acting. And appreciate Bill Burr as an act, like not only a comedian, which you don't really like his comedy, but his acting, you cannot deny, especially there. Absolutely, no, that was really good. And then the way they ended it off is basically once they got the codes and the coordinates to Moff Gideon, they ended up saying, hey, maybe he's dead and setting him free because exactly. thanks for doing the And then Mando work. called up Moff Gideon and said, listen up, bitch, I'm coming for your ass. <laughs> Mic drop. Mic drop. No, he said exactly what Gideon said to him in the season one finale, which I think is beautiful. Fire. Muy caliente. It might have been the episode before the season finale. I don't remember, but it was in, you know what I mean? Episode seven and eight. For last season and this season are together, you know. Yeah. What I mean? So, but that were the those were pretty. That was a pretty good episode. Junga nine point five. That was an amazing episode. All around, me and me and Junga, Junga and I gave it nine point fives. But I think we talked about last episode enough, Junga. I cannot wait for you to get into episode eight of season two, the season finale. I can't wait. Either. Chapter sixteen, the rescue. I'm gonna get all the robots. <laughs> Darth Vader, robot, C-3PO, Kylo Ren, C-3PO, Air Trooper, Storm Trooper, Boba Fett, Star Wars robot. <laughs> you almost, you, you started good. <laughs> you said C-3PO for R2-T2 though, which I should slap you across the face for that. But. Yeah. Yep. Oh shit. <laughs> Before you make a mistake, this is Dr. Pershing. We've met. Is the kid alive? Yes. He's on the cruise. <laughs> I'm not with him. We can work something out. Oof. Vesha. Your team's getting on hinge, Mando. There's no church in the wild, but it has a little bit of a. A little bit of extra flair, a little, a little extra trumpet in there. <laughs> Let's go! Dun dun. What was her name again? Bo Katan of House Crees, baby. Bo Katan. They took the child. Yeah. I love. Everyone's just like on sight. As soon as you hear that, bet. Let's go. We 
You are not a Mandalorian. You are a disgrace to your armor. The Sama belonged to my father. Don't you mean your donor? Oof! I've heard your voice thousands of times. Mine might be the last one you hear. Oh, shit! <laughs> See, like, Boba's a badass. Can't, can't mess with the Mandalorians, bro. If we had shown half that spine to the Empire, we would have never lost our planet. True. We will help you. In exchange, we will keep that ship to retake Mandalorian. You could have the cruiser. I would have you reconsider joining our efforts. Mandalorians have been in exile from our homeworld for far too long. I will kill them off and retake what is right for them. With the dark saber restored to me, Mandalore will finally be with him. She acted real cocky, and I love you, Bo-Katan, but like, child, and you can have whatever you want. The dark troopers are the only thing you really have to worry about in this scenario. That's so cool. That is really cool. Moff Gideon is mine. Got it? He's ex ISB. He's got a lot of information. I need him alive. I don't care what happens to him as long as he surrenders to me. Requesting emergency docking. We are under attack. Copy, Lambda Shuttle. Request received. Launch TIE Fighters. Oh, I think he knows. Fighting style is fantastic. Oh no. There it goes. Oh, they got dope music connected to this. Got some dubstep out here. We out. Drop your weapon. They're gonna come back in right now. Landing on top of them. How you doing? Hey! So badass, bro. Point blank, he still would have missed. No. No. <laughs> that day, wow. That's how strong one of them are. Oh my god. Melted down. Nope. No, it doesn't even melt. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Everything we've seen work so far. Oh. Everything we've seen him mess people up with did nothing to these things. Woo. Thank God you got. Only what one of them did. Imagine if they had to fight them all. <laughs> oh shit. No. <laughs> no. No. Cooing. Stop! Mesmerizing, isn't Just it? giving him a haircut. Used to belong to Bo Katan. Top Darth can... Maul ruled Mandalore back in the Clone Wars. Just want you can't just Very take well. it. Yeah. I've already got what I want from her. <laughs> the best guard. I would be so scared. Let's go. Yep. I like that the dark saber doesn't sound like every other lightsaber. Mm. Stab him and let it be over with. You spare him, my life. No. It belongs to her. She can't take it. She won't take it. It must be one. She would need to defeat you. In combat. One v one, me, bro. It's yours. Oh no. 
without that blade. She's a pretender. To this home. We're being boarded. How many life forms? None. I knew they were coming back. They're robots and they can fly. We've seen it already. Yep. Seal the blast door. They're not gonna Mr. Miyagi one punch this, are they? They're still coming through! <laughs> Where are those droid guys? What's that? Next way. Wait a minute, don't tell me this is the other Jedi. What other Jedi? Oh, Grogu feels so. Do you know who it is? I think so. Who do you think it is? It's the only one that ever remained alive in any other episode. I'm not gonna say it. Say it. I know they're gonna show it. Say it. Say it. Say it! Say who you think it is! Luke. I am your father. Say who you think it is! Say it with your motherfucking just! It's Luke Skywalker. Oh no! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I have fucking goosebumps right now, dude. Even they know they're they're not good. You see his belt, dude? It just, it's Luke from Return of the Jedi, bro. The glove. Oh my god, Junka. You know what I mean? Oh my god, he just waited. He just waited. Introduce yourself. The deep fake's pretty bad. Come, little one. <sighs> You're looking at Luke Skywalker in The Mandalorian right now, Jojo. I will give my life to protect the child. But he will not be safe until he masters his abilities. My God. He's so sad. Grogu's like, <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be really good friends. Well, R2 is just saying what's up. <laughs> He's excited. It's it's not a good deep fake at all. May the force be with you, and also with you. Wow. That was it, Juga. That you. was it. Now that was the season finale, Juga. <laughs> What'd you think? That was well worth it. Told well you. worth it. Guys, my heart I is can't racing and I know Luke and I knew it was coming. <laughs> yeah, we got Luke Skywalker. He took Grogu. The person that taught Luke Skywalker was Yoda. So this is going to be great knowledge going from Luke to Grogu himself. Do you remember the two rules? Well, I don't remember the oh, I'm so fuzzy right now. But Yoda said, pass on what yep. you learn. I don't remember the first thing he said, but what you pass it, pass it on. Mm -hmm. What you learn, pass on. Absolutely. Do or do not. There is no try. And then he said, 
what you learn, pass on. Pass on what you learn. But you're right, dude, full circle. Yep, and all I have to say is incredible action, you know, like so many turns of events, uh, so much power was needed th this episode. Yep. It's so much emotion. He took his helmet off at the end, of, and everybody's seen it now, <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he's got to leave it off for good. Unless he still uses it, just like takes it on and off every once in a while. I mean, the concept is just great this episode. Now, the major thing that I am now excited about is now that season three of Mandalorian is out, are they going to show us a side of Luke Skywalker and Grogu training? Or is it going to be more Mandalorian adventures and we have to wait for a new series coming out in the future between Luke and Grogu? Well, I will tell you that between season two and season three, we have to watch the Book of Boba Fett. So that's next in line for our Star Wars watch through. And I will tell you one more thing, Junka. Yes. We will see Luke again. I hope so. I'm not gonna say when, I'm not gonna say in what, but we will see Luke again. Which means it's something that you've seen. Or that I just heard of. I know. And I heard it through the grave. If you go through the internet, if you're on the Instawebs or the Facebooks or the Twitters or the... You'll find the answers. Like, you, you'll we'll be randomly scrolling one day, and if you follow a certain amount of pages and stuff, you get, like, spoiled. Unfortunately, I haven't watched Book of Boba Fett or Season 3 of Mandalorian, but I do know a few things that happen. I do know a few yeah. characters that pop up because of social media. But, yeah, which, you know, you can't really stop that. But Junka... What would you rate this episode? 10 out of 10. This is exactly what we needed. It just opened up a whole new side of the story. Um, in relevancy to what we're just seeing right now. You know, everything so far has just been Mando being the overpowered character. And now they've mm -hmm. introduced enough Jedi to the story. Um, the power scale has went up. Yeah, the power scale just went up. So Mando 3, oh my god, dude. I just can't wait for it. I really awesome. can't wait for it anymore I, at this point in time. It's like the, the, the things that we're seeing right now is, is going to be crazy. So since we're going into uncharted waters after this, for me especially, taking season one and season two into account, Junka, what, could you, what do you got to say about the show as a, as, as a total, you know, as a whole? How do you feel? Are you, are you happy we went through it to watch it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, this, I don't think I've seen a lot of social media posts to say, wow, I really wanted to watch this before I actually watched it. But now that I have seen it, and I'm actually getting caught back up with Star Wars and the whole story behind it as well too. Um, this is definitely something that I recommend to people and suggest just going through and seeing, you know? it's. Like I said, it's something that's been going on for so long. I know a lot of people may have stopped watching Star Wars, almost like how I did. But it, if you get back into it, you really are missing out. Not all the new stuff is bad. It's really not. I do know there were a couple right after, what was it, episode 3 technically? <coughs> 7, 8, and 9. <coughs> 7, 8, and 9? <laughs> yeah, 7, 8, and 9 are the ones that are... The buzzkill for a lot of people. Seven's okay. Please give this a shot. Absolutely. This, Obi-Wan Kenobi, we haven't watched the Andor series, and we're not planning on it now. Andor. But in the future, if you guys want us to, you know, let us know. We might jump back into it. But for now, it's not on our schedule. There's a lot more, I don't want to say important, but major things going on in the Star Wars world. we got the Ahsoka show coming. Season 3 of Mando just wrapped. That's so, right. So we want to get caught up on that. Also, we got some more Marvel to catch up on. But hey, we're, we're gonna all get, over the place. We're going to get to a point <laughs> where we're going to have nothing to get caught up on. Everything's just new. And we're going to need you guys' suggestions. We're going to need Junka's suggestions, my suggestions. We're going to need stuff to We're just needing suggestions and suggestions. Suggestions, suggestions, suggestions. 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 If you like this episode, make sure you smash that like button. Comment down below. Are you excited for our reaction to Book of Boba Fett and Mandalorian Season 3? And if you don't want to answer those, answer this one. What was your favorite <laughs> moment in our reaction through Season 1 and 2? What was your favorite yep. moment between any of the episodes, between us seeing it, just seeing it yourself? What was your favorite? If you're not subscribed and you enjoy our content... Why not subscribe? What are you doing? 67% your of you that watch aren't subscribed. And we got that number down from 75%. But you guys should keep that number dropping because we really love our, our, our community. We love you guys. 
You are the reason we do this. We my we math like, ain't mathin'. <laughs> you guys are the reason that you know we go down in the comment section. We see you guys commenting, asking us questions. We try to answer every single one we can. We do read everything. We do. We read everything. You don't have to understand. We are hawks on our YouTube yes, studios, are. but. We want to get close with you guys, our community, and that's why we have a Discord channel set up. We are active in it, and we talk to as many people as we can. This isn't only us to just be on YouTube. We want to grow a community with you guys and enjoy yep. things like this together. So please, put that bell icon on all so you get notified whenever we post something here on Tension 369. But until then, I've been Justin. And I'm Nick. And we'll catch you on the next one. Oh.